I've always thought about it almost like in terms of a non-sexual dom-sub relationship in a way, how you're totally giving up control to the artist. It's like an offering, like a human sacrifice. They're willing to like give their bodies to the art and whatever happens in the end. I think at times body painting hasn't really been perceived as an art form. I think a lot of people focus it on more like, oh my gosh, there's a naked person here and isn't that fun and we can put paint on there and that's the issue. I'm not trying to sensationalize the fact that there are boobs and honestly, much of my stuff, you don't even really see the breasts. It's like implied nudity. Whose gaze is it? Is it like a sexualized gaze or is it like an artistic gaze? Today I was also influenced by the architect and Tony Gaudi. Like kind of grotesque. I like how messy it is. I'm not a very neat and tidy person. I never have been. And I just kind of embrace that. I started body painting about 10, 12 years ago. I try to create a comfortable space for my model by talking to them like a human and making like they're nude or something like that, making nudity comfortable for them. I don't really have a plan. When I'm like in the zone, there's not really a plan. There's maybe a color scheme or some inspiration images. I kind of embrace the chaos and, and jump in the deep end and swim around, see what happens. Lots of sugar. Some challenges is that it melts with body heat, so you have to be aware of that. I've used stuff like moss, bubbles. You can you can put anything on a body if you know the right adhesives. Many women have come to me as a um, as a way of kind of getting power back over their body, feeling beautiful, feeling like someone other than themselves. I've done a few photo shoots with people to kind of see their inner goddess. They want to see themselves in a different way than just naked form, which they may not feel so comfortable about. It feels great to be painted. You're not always made aware of the space between your shoulder blades or what it feels like to have someone else in your armpit. You're reminded of the fact that you have a physical body and it is this shape and it inhabits this space. A lot of guys like it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I find, I find there's a certain kind of guy that really en enjoys the process and I'm inspired by painting men and taking that masculinity and kind of curving it out and feminizing, adding glitter, taking a hard masculine form and making it something a little more fabulous. The biggest challenge about being a body paint artist is trying to find clients that um, want to work with my vision. Oftentimes I get clients that want me to focus on like, we have a naked girl and we want you to put Budweiser on her chest or something like that. I prefer to work with my design, my aesthetic, and I want creative control. That's just kind of another mirror too of yourself. You're seeing another perspective. Yeah, it is, it is only their body and it's also there's someone completely different that they didn't think that they were before.